I did sweat about what I would wear today on the program, not because it was a costume, but because I have to sit next to a supermodel in Coco Rocha. Welcome. Thank you. Been so looking forward to this since your 60 pound book <laughs> landed on the desk. It is, it is a heavy, it's seven pound book. It's a good workout if you don't even want to look at it. <laughs> it is a great workout, and boy, did I ever look at it. It oh, is fantastic. 1,000 poses. This is the, the ideal Christmas gift for that little girl <laughs> that loves the camera or that little boy who loves the camera. True that. Um, it is just 1,000 fantastic poses. I don't know how you came up with all of them. We'll get to those, but talk about Jean-Paul Gaultier writing the foreword for oh you. Oh my goodness. Well, Jean-Paul Gaultier actually really uh, helped in, in uh, establishing me as a model. There was definitely a few key people, but Gaultier had me uh, Irish dance down his runway in 2007, which kind of lifted my career. And ever since then, he's given me such creative uh, ways on his, uh, on his runways to perform. And I thought, oh my goodness, if anyone, if I could get anyone, my wish was Gautier to do my Ford and he was so kind so generous and beautiful and when he saw it in fact he was amazed that there wasn't I mean as simple as the idea of just a book of poses that it wasn't thought of or done before because not only is it great for yes your future posers out there yes. that sounds horrible I love uh, that, but though. it's also for the artist world I mean for sculptors for uh, uh, painters um, poets whatever it's it's a great reference book and, and tool for them so for him, he said this was perfect for, for his industry, for what he does, and he's going to scribble on all of it and design his dresses on it. So it's really? it's a lot of fun things to see, hear what people are thinking uh, about for this book, for sure. Uh, that is so dynamic, too, when you're thinking about it. It's for poets, it's for sculptors, because the way you move your body, and you have tips on how to do this We're in the world of selfies and horrible, <laughs> like you see the same person pose the same way yes, day in and day out. Nuts. Okay, so what should we do to what be better we posers? Do? Just stop it. I mean, <laughs> uh, I hate the selfie. I hate what it's done to our generation that we're so obsessed with uh, looking this one way or thinking that this one way is the best way. And you can tell there's definitely some great uh, poses in there, but there's also some funny ones. Um, let loose. It's just a photo, you know? You're not curious cancer. Right, that's yeah. a very good point. And taking the selfie, you're, you're recommending that perhaps we give up the camera. I say give up the co camera completely. I mean, we used to, you know, I don't know, you'd visit the Great Wall of China and you'd ask someone, hey, could you just take a photo of me? Now it's, you specifically want to take it yourself. You don't want that human, inter uh, human interaction. You feel like it's weird to go out and be like, hey, could you just take a photo? Yeah. Which that's my job. I'm like, hey, could here's a camera. Can you just take a photo for a second? Thank you very much, sir, and then walk away. Now you uh, do talk about um, not having a bad side. <laughs> you are a supermodel. Some of us believe that. Well, we have no good side, honestly, when it comes to photos. But it's not true. It's not true. I mean, come on. I, I make the joke of I don't have a bad side because we just shouldn't be that worried. You know, it's, flaws are great things. I was nervous about my teeth when I started modeling. I thought I had big teeth. And in fact, that became kind of my, my thing. I would have open mouth cocoa, you know, this, love uh, they, they'd love to see my big teeth. And now it's just, I tell younger girls, boys, that whatever it is that you're uncomfortable about, in fact, probably be the thing that will, people will remember and, and love about you. Right celebrate your differences. Yeah. I wanted to talk a little bit about Flair Magazine. You're the guest editor. I, was that I like? am. It was amazing. It was my first time being a guest editor of any magazine and I got to do it in Canada. Uh, they pretty much let me do whatever I wanted to do. So uh, I, I love that because you know so many times I've heard of people wanting you to do projects with them but in reality they just want your name and then you right. walk away. Good point. This, this was really something I, I got to do from cover to cover. I love your power and your attitude. Your message is very clear. Thank you're not you. just a beautiful woman, you're smart. I want people to know that you, there's smart business women out there, uh, in our industry especially. I, I mean, I, I, the models that I work with were, are particularly very smart business women, and uh, uh, I don't like stereotypes. No, you don't. And I want to congratulate you on the little um, news that you shared a couple the, of weeks ago. The second ago. baby. The, the second, first baby. The first baby <laughs> and the second baby, somewhere in that very slim Physique, congratulations. Thank you. When do you do? I'm due in the spring. All right. So I'm very excited. We will look forward to the poses with baby. baby the yes. belly, baby belly poses and such. You can see Coco Rocha at her book signing at Holt Renfrew, 4 30 to 6 o'clock this evening. It is a QA and you can pick up this amazing study of pose. Artists in your world will love this <laughs> for the holidays, because right after Halloween, of course, we're talking Christmas. <laughs>